we're going to take a moment and talk about some ways that exponents interact with multiplication. Let's say we have two expressions that involve different exponents but the same base. So what do I mean by that? Suppose we have some number b and two whole numbers, m and n, that are both at least 2. If we have the number b to the nth power and we multiply it by the number b to the nth power, what's going to happen? Let's look at an example to see if we can figure out what will happen. Let's say we try with b is 3 m is 3 and n is 4. So we have 3 to the third times 3 to the fourth. Well, we can work that out on our calculator if we want. We could also work it out by hand, but life is short. 3 to the third times 3 to the fourth is 2,187. Okay, that's nice and all, but that's not going to work in general, right? That's only going to work for just those choices of numbers. Let's think what 3 to the third means. What would we do if we wanted to work out 3 to the third by hand? That would be 3 times 3 times 3. Right, this is 3 to the third. 3 to the fourth, that would be 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. All right, that's 3 to the fourth. You know what we have here? We have seven copies of the number 3 all multiplied together. 3 to the third times 3 to the fourth is 3 to the seventh. Just to be sure, let's work that out on our calculator also. Yeah, 2187. Hmm, that's interesting. I wonder if that's going to happen in general, right? Well, we'll have b multiplied by itself with m copies. And then that same number multiplied by itself with n copies. Yeah, if I write m copies and then n copies, that is indeed going to be m plus n copies. So we'll just have b to the m plus n. Oh, so if we're multiplying two exponential expressions with the same base, we just add the exponents. So if I wanted to take, for example, 2 to the fifth times 2 to the third, well, that would be 2 to the 5 plus 3, so 2 to the eighth. Let's make sure that that works. 2 to the fifth times 2 to the third is 256. 2 to the eighth, also 256. It really does work.